Hello friends. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who subscribed um, to my channel. Um, I have over 500 subscribers right now, which um, just completely humbles me. Um, and I'm just so grateful for everyone for their support. And I really wanted to, to mark this occasion by giving you all a freebie. And um, this is what I came up with. I'm going to show you this in a second. Um, I feel like the Lord has a ministry for me in this, um, at this season of my life. Um, and I want to pour my art out for the Lord, the name of my channel. And I'm going to prayerfully consider how to go forward from here. Um, I thank every one of you for, for subscribing, for watching my channel for supporting me and my coffee shop and um, I'd love to hear comments um, for what you would uh, like me to produce next. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, I would love to hear that as I go forward. I love to make pretty things. I love art. I love color. But I don't want to just make a bunch of pretty things. After a while you have a house full of pretty things and at least for me, I look around and say, you know, what is the point? And so I want to have pretty things with a purpose. So I did a little bit of thinking um, this morning and I thought the three things that I would really like to accomplish in this uh, ministry is being able to make pretty things to share the gospel with others, make pretty things to encourage others. Um, we all have challenges in our walk, um, challenges, suffering, um, so many trials. So uh, we're called to encourage each other and we can encourage each other with pretty things and discipling others. And this one kind of fits in that category of discipling others. So um, I encourage you to go over to my coffee shop and download this one for free and make it for yourself. And then... If you have the time and inclination, I would love for you to make one or two or more and give them away to others. Um, and then in that way, we're sharing, we're sharing the love for our love for the Lord with others. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, so I'll show you what the freebie is, is about. I just have it tied with a piece of lace here. Um, this is the cover. The cover is, is one piece like that. And this is uh, just a label that you can put on um, your front or not. You can add your own label if you like. I put that separate. Um, the kit has a, uh, five pages in it. I'll show you the kit in a minute. Um, <clears throat> this is just what I've made with the kit. Um, pretty much everything is in the kit that's in here. A couple of these words I added after but all of these papers are in the kit um, the coffee dyed or tea dyed paper is something that you would have to add yourself um, all of these pages are included the tags will make and the, all the pockets and tucks i'll show you exactly how to make everything um, this pink paper i just added from my stash um, these uh, tabs are all included in the kit we're going to make an envelope um, with a tuck on the other side um, we're going to make this triple stacked pocket with a tag in it. And this is kind of what I'm basing this journal on. It's uh, a tool that the navigators um, came up with. They're uh, a worldwide ministry, I think, of uh, their main thing is discipleship. And they have this, this hand tool and it. it talks about hearing the word of the Lord reading it, studying it, memorizing it, and then meditating on it. And um, here's the other part of the, the printout, and I'll link that below as well. And uh, there's a scripture for each of the of those categories, which I also um, looked up and printed out, so I'm going to use those in my journal somehow as well. And uh, my... My purpose, I think, for this journal, um, well, there's there's many different ways that you can do it. I think I'm going to kind of combine a couple of different ways, but I'd love to hear how you use it as well. Um, if you want to comment on that, I would love to get uh, more ideas on how to use this journal. 
um, but I have um, tabs for each one of these things here, read, study, memorize, and meditate. And in each section, I'm going to write uh, um, some things, you know, as you, you're studying and stuff, um, or reading different blog posts, videos, whatever, um, you maybe hear a really great podcast and you want to make a note of that. So I'm going to put that in the hearing section. Um, hearing is is from primarily from your local church and your local pastors and teachers there. Um, so you can put different things that you're hearing from them. Hearing can also be like um, a commentary or something like that where it's it's reading it, but it's hearing another voice. Um, commenting on the scripture so all of that can be on hearing so I'm going to use that section to just kind of give myself some ideas on where I can hear the word and then reading will be um, some ideas where I can you know how to read the bible why to read the bible um, tracking my reading of the bible all those different things study this can be some study tools some online study tools different books that I found helpful um, those kinds of things. Uh, memorize, again, tips for memorizing, what I want to memorize. Um, meditations, again, how to, how to meditate, um, you know, some tips for that. And some scriptures on what I want to meditate on. And when I make this for someone else, I'm going to tailor it a little bit towards, you know, just maybe a, a beginner Christian, what they might do in each of those areas. And maybe, you know, start with a scripture or some kind of hearing of maybe a devotion. And then um, from there going into reading in more depth and then studying how to study that. Memorize maybe a part of it. And then the meditation just so we can kind of help disciple each other. So that's the point of this. But you can use this for whatever you want. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. Um... We're going to make this little flip out pocket thing and this up, upper tuck, top tuck, I guess. Um, this pocket we'll make together. Here's the other tab. This is a little uh, kind of a belly band sort of thing. This is another type of belly band and inside is a little booklet. We're going to make that together right away. This is even part of the our scraps that we use and then at the back I have another pocket here so mm -hmm. so stay tuned and I'm going to show you the kit next and all the different supplies that that you'll need to do that and then uh, I'm going to do a part two for the tutorial because I don't want this to get too too long so part two will be the tutorial of just every step that you need, walking you through it step by step to do this exact project. So if that interests you, um, go pick up the kit and uh, the tutorial will, will be linked in my coffee shop with the kit as well. And it'll also be on my YouTube channel. And again, thank you so much for your support. And um, I, I am truly humbled by having 500 um, plus uh, subscribers now and I hope that that I can just produce things that that will edify you and help you in your Christian walk and and encouraging others. So um, I'll show you the kit next. Okay, so here's the kit. Um, the kit is five pages. Um, this is the first page. This is the cover of our booklet. Um, here's the tabs and some labels and this. God's Word can be cut out and put here, or you could have another uh, uh, label there or handwrite something if you want. So this is page one in the kit, and I just printed this on cardstock with blank on the back. Um, this is page two in the kit, and it's a background page. And what I'm going to do is glue these two together to make a bit of a more not the whole thing, just the cover, to make a bit more of a sturdy cover. Um, my printer doesn't do very heavy weight cardstock, but if you had a better weight cardstock on your printer, you could just print this page on the back of here and use one page. That's your choice. Um, this is page three, and it's uh, 
half of two different prints. And this one I printed on cardstock. And this is what we're going to be using for some of the pockets and tucks and stuff. And on the back of that one, I printed the background page too again. There's a different background page as well, so you can mix and match however you like, but that's what I did. And then this is page four. And this one also I did page two on the back. This is all cardstock. And then this is just straight copy paper. Again, the same paper, the same page as we did before. So this is page three, but on copy paper. And I did the other background page, page five on the back. And this is what we're going to use in our signatures. <clears throat> and this is the same. It's uh, uh, page four in the kit and it's on copy paper. And I put page five on the back and this will be, we'll cut out for our signatures. So that's the five pages in the kit and how I printed them. You can um, print them with different backing pages, however you like. Um, and then for my signatures, I just picked out a piece of pink, very thin copy paper. <clears throat> you can, I mean, if you don't have pink paper, you can use white paper, you can use coffee dyed paper, you can use, um, you know, some ledger paper, whatever you would like inside. Um, and this is how I'm doing it. Of course, you're welcome to do it however you like, but I'm just showing you my process. And then I have two pages of coffee dyed paper. Actually, these, I believe, are tea dyed paper. So those are going to be in our signature as well. Um, I'll link this page below. You can print it off for yourself. Um, you can print it out in half size to put in your journal. You can fold it and put it in your journal. You don't have to use it, whatever. Um, but that's what that looks like. And that's just free to download there. And then I just, um, with this comes each one of the, the topics has a scripture. So I um, printed out the scriptures that it referenced and I'm going to use those somehow in my book as well. So <coughs> that's the kit. If you want to uh, follow along with me, um, go to the coffee link below and get your copy of the journal and I'm going to get everything cut up and set up and actually before I do that <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of quickly go through some of the supplies. I'm just going to try to do really basic supplies with this and then you can go to town and add whatever you like um, but I just want to kind of do the basics here. So you need some kind of glue. I use um, this tacky glue right now. You can use art glitter glue, any kind of um, paper glue that's a little bit tacky. You don't want um, too wet of a glue like a, just a simple um, school glue would be would warp the paper a little bit but I mean you can use it so glue you will need you'll need scissors to cut everything out um, I find a scoreboard is very handy for scoring different things if you don't have it you can do without it and I use this one all the time too I, I probably will cut out my um, my basics with the scissors, but I do use this for like measuring and cutting out pockets and all that sort of thing So I find those indispensable <clears throat> And then you need some sort of a, if you want to do a closure You need some sort of a ribbon or lace to go around the book. I picked this out I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not. I I like the contrast and the pink matches really well But I'll reserve that decision for the end and um, then you'll also need some sort of a pokey tool um, if you want to sew in the signature you could also staple in the signature if you would like you could also sew it in with the sewing machine if you like but this is how I'm going to do it um, I just use some of this thick thread and an awl to punch it and then I use a needle <coughs> uh, with a fairly large eye um, that will thread this and put it through. I'll show that in the tutorial. Um, I am going to sew around my cover when I get the two pieces glued. So I'm going to use my sewing machine, but that's totally optional. And I'm going to ink all of my edges. So I have vintage photo uh, distress ink and one of these. 
and um, the inking is optional again but I like the look that it gives so that's kind of the basic supplies and the kit go get the kit if you want to follow along um, gather your supplies and part two will be the tutorial on how to put everything together so we'll see you in the next part Thank you.